Today on a very special NSFW, we are joined by your friend, my friend, the world's friend, Andrew Maine. We talk about lobsters, hookers, smelling like a truck stop, and hear the dulcet tones of not one, but two songs from Jonathan Mann and his Songatron band. It's all coming up on this episode of NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 82 for June 26, 2011, Steamed Main Special. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All stream directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. Pridemore down the wing to Pike. Pike gets it back to Pridemore quickly up to Shaq Stanwick. McDonough kills off the man down. Pike open on the low side. Greg Pike, believe me, sweetie, I got enough to feed the needy. No need to be greedy. Mad friends with fences and C notes by the layers. I love it when you call me Big Papa. Goodness. 518 to go, fourth quarter. Greggy Pike. I don't know what was more I don't know what was more impressive, that goal or that call by my man Booker Court. <laughs> we, you got to do the music, right? We, we got music coming up. <laughs> I get waiting for the fly around at the brooms. <laughs> and just like that, it is go time for NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new songs for the Webernets, the show that is nominally safe for work. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inimitable co host, part man, part machine, part goat turned cyborg it's extreme it's just a robert young what is going on professor jry uh brian we are in for maybe the best show we've ever done in nsfw history uh we have never put more thought and effort into a show like this ladies and gentlemen not only do we have a surefire crowd pleaser folks the debit daddy himself mr <laughs> andrew main welcome Back to the Huzzah! show. And live, this, by the way, course, from Petaluma. We're oh, live from Petaluma. In the Twit Cottage itself. In the Twit co in the Twit Cottage. But we didn't get the ball because GM Ruby stole that. Yes. Uh, by the way, somebody should point out real quick that this is our first ever episode that we are live coast to coast. Well, I we take it back because even when you're down in Florida and I'm in Petaluma, we're coast to coast then, but we're still coast to coast because I'm up in Maine. The, I just got finished doing Port Con and you guys are in Petaluma. Yep. What is it with us always doing an Eiffel Tower on the U.S. of A? What is that all about? That's how much we love Middle America, Brian. It's restraining order, Brian. <laughs> yes. Also the restraining <laughs> order. Also a vast government uh, conspiracy to keep us apart, lest we be united and the world come crumbling down. Uh, right, I do want to also uh, point out that tonight... We have a very, very, very big treat for you guys. Uh, the first ever guest in the NSFW Summer Music Series was Jonathan Mann, Mr. Song and Day himself. And tonight, he returns with a very, uh, a very special friend. Uh, folks, Nick Krill from the Spinto Band, they have been uh, doing, uh, as a full band, all these awesome songs throughout June. He had a Kickstarter for it. It's going to be a full album. And tonight, they are going to perform not one, but two songs from right. their June experience. It's right, super look. awesome. Justin, it's no secret that when you first came to me and said, hey, I got this crazy idea, let's do a summer music series, it's no secret that I laughed in your face and I told you you're fired. Uh, <laughs> but as this has progressed, I have decided that the, that the music series, with one notable exception, I'm sorry it didn't work out with old John Smokey, but this summer yeah. music series has been like the greatest thing to ever happen to us, man. It's like... It is my favorite part of all the show, especially like when uh, when Julia Nunes was playing a ukulele. It brought yeah. tears to my eyes. No, it was it was it was super awesome. By the way, I'm a big fat idiot. Thomas Hughes is here, not Nick Crow from Spinto. Uh, they were the other uh, awesome geniuses in that band. Uh, so please, you're not going to want to miss this. This is going to be awesome. And also, they are live. They are rocking the office. Can we actually get a shot of them yeah. right now? 
They yeah, by the way, there, uh, we, yes, we yes! have retrofit the, the Twit studio. office. Uh, so, as, uh, and keep in mind, uh, of course, in true NSFW style, we managed to book and arrange this just mere weeks before we would be in the completely pimpinest, most badassinest studios over at the Twit Brick House. We're making sure we're going to squeeze every last ounce of shabbiness left before we transition over to the new hotness of the new studios. Uh, I, you know, listen, here is the problem. Leo came to me and said, Justin, you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> and I cried. I fell on the floor and I weeped like a baby. Um, then he said, but there's a good news. And he said it like that, like an Italian stereotype. But there's a good news for you. <laughs> he said, and he said it in that Italian voice because he's very good with the voices. He's very good with the sure voices. You were, you were very confused yeah. why your boss fired you and then started to, to talk <laughs> in a parody voice. Uh, yeah. So he said, um, but Justin, there's a good news for you. <laughs> In my largesse, I have given you twenty-five dollars, twenty-five lire, because they need to demolish the Twit Cottage with rock, and that's why we brought in Jonathan Mann and Thomas Hughes. Tom, uh, Jonathan Mann is his, and his Song of Tron band uh, to to rock this house until it literally breaks apart. Uh, so that's we're not going to stop this show until we've destroyed the house, which is very. Not good of us because they have two more weeks until the studio is ready. So we should we should point out, by the way, <laughs> that part of the reason that we have Andrew Maine uh, back on the show is uh, not only is he one of our favorite uh, scientific thinkers, authors, magicians, and publishers extraordinaire, but uh, he obviously is tearing up the uh, Amazon Kindle uh, web waves. Is that what they call them? Yes. The, the, yes. Do they have charts? The web yes. waves are being yeah. torn up. His is. <laughs> His ebooks are selling so well, they will surely be placed prominently in the brand new Amazon stores, which will be dotting the landscape, uh, as Giga Ohm uh, described in the, uh, the most recent episode of Twit. <laughs> but but uh, in all seriousness, uh, uh, Andrew, I guess you guys are out on the West Coast because uh, is this your first ever West Coast lecture tour that you're doing, Andrew? I've lectured a couple times in California, but this is the first uh, like tour where I'm hitting multiple places. How, how many states are uh, states? How many cities are you hitting? We're because hitting we, I know we have Northern fans. California. We're yeah, gonna, we're it, doing. If you are listening live, uh, Monday we're going to be in Fresno at Hocus Pocus. Tuesday we're going to be at Misdirections in San Francisco, and Thursday we are going to be at Grand Illusions in Sacramento, California. But now you might say to yourself, "Hey, listen, it's a great week. Those are some awesome lectures, and I'm going to go to all three of them." But what are you doing Wednesday? Uh, me. I mean, well, I, 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 look, I already talked about this. I wanted to hang out with you guys, but I'm busy shooting Scam School this Wednesday. And I've got to shoot four episodes that night. It's very busy. We just published the blog post over at revision3.com. I'm coming back Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to be in San Francisco shooting Scam School episodes. And I think this is a really inappropriate time for you to bring up what I'm going to be doing on Wednesday because we're trying to do our comedy show, NSFW. <laughs> yes. With the laughs. Yes. So speaking of uh, hilarious things, what if... What if hilariously we just we just were at the same place that, that you were while well, you should oh, wait a minute. Are you talking about some kind of crazy crossover where just Robert Young and Andrew Maine were to show up in a scam school episode? Yeah, we'd be like Marvel to your DC universe. Yeah. Basically okay. and <laughs> screw you. I call <laughs> dibs on Marvel. <laughs> you guys it's I agree. It's just like Marvel and the new universe where you're the new universe oh. and I'm the original Marvels. I don't know. I got yeah. nothing. Uh, what are you doing? No. Are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got up and left. <laughs> and that was how the episode ended. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, so no, uh, we're all going to be together. It's going to be like a mini NSFW slash scam school meetup palooza. Dude, it's, it's kind of badass the way everything's cross-pollinating. Like, it was really, really fun to watch you on This Week in Tech today and to see, uh, to see, you know, the, the, some of the NSFW jokiness mixed in with, with a side that, that most of the NSFW crew doesn't get to see from you very often, uh, you know, poignant insights. <laughs> criticism. Uh, and, uh, yes. and so we got that cross <laughs> Next week, next week. <laughs> Give me a second, Brian. Right, I'm, just... I'm sorry. He's got to get this out, Brian. Let it breathe. Let it breathe a little bit. All right. Walls okay. are being hit. Please continue. But it's like, but it's like you guys are there. OMG Chad is there. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then I'm going to be there and this next guy, week. This guy, he's just gonna... like behind me. 
What's that? Oh, is OG Chad there? No, no, no. There's he's just a guy. Just a guy. Okay. He's just this guy, you know. So, and then, and then meanwhile, I'm going to be out there next week and uh, doing the exact same circuit you guys are doing, plus the scam school stuff. Plus, we're supposed to hang out, uh, hopefully, for lunch on Wednesday. Dude, it's it's crazy. We're all up in this business. And by the way, Sand Tiger says, uh, rest in peace, OMG Chad. You you will be missed. Yeah, it was really, it's been sad that he died. Uh, we had we had <laughs> lunch with him, and then he died. He died falling into um, a rotor blade that was attached to a go-kart. Um, it was a very slow, agonizing death, but it was certainly fast and zippy. Yeah. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? Uh, he had a zippy death. Agonizing. Yeah, it was what? tragic. It was tragically zippy. <laughs> He fell, he fell into a goat cart, and the goat slowly stepped on him to death. <laughs> yeah. We, we think it was a mob killing, to be honest with you. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I don't think... I, I cannot rule out foul play. I'll put it that way. No. Uh, okay, now seriously, I, I think... what would the situation be that would cause OMG Chad to fall into a goat cart and die? Um, he, he really... And this is an odd thing about uh, Chad, rest in peace, uh, is he loved the smell of goats. Yes. And that was ultimately <laughs> his undoing. <laughs> Are you saying he had an addiction? He was chasing the high? Like, he was on scratch and sniff goats. And, yeah. And that was okay at first. Mm -hmm. But then he started going online, and he would order actual goat fur that he would sniff yeah. and smell. If, yeah, if you want to donate to the Chad, uh, whatever his last name was, Memorial, Yeah. Um, we're going to set up a PayPal. You just go to my website and click on my PayPal button. Yeah. So, no, we can, we can yeah. take care of that. I yeah. also want to point out... Um, yeah. Since we're done talking about Chad, because obviously, who cares? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Just another junkie dead in the machine. Another junkie dead in the street. Just say no to goats, bro. Really, uh, I'll tell you, he's looking good. He's yeah, looking fit just... and trim. Uh, Jammer B here. Let's just everybody, you know, let's give him a round of applause here. Uh, Jammer B is there. Look at that. He's... In shape. Maybe, yeah. uh, maybe uh, lost too much weight. Some a bit foppish. Oh, okay, well, yeah, a little foppy haircut, some skinny jeans. We all look like sure, that, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but, you know, so, so there we go. Uh, I think we've, we've learned a lot in the last five minutes. <laughs> we learned to forgive people their goat fetishes and their obsessions <laughs> with goats and goat cards. Uh, but look, uh, look, here's the important thing. What are we up to today, man? What do we want to talk? We got Andrew in studio. We got music guests. We're all kinds of professional up in this business. Uh, what is what is going on in Andrew Maine's world? I, I'm gonna tell you, I'm excited about your musical guests because I happen to be a big fan. So I, I think this is going to be like a full pack show. It's going to be so packed that we're going to have to spend 20, 30 minutes just using metaphors to describe how packed it is. Exactly, exactly. Which, like, it's one of those old 1960s collegiate world record fit a lot of people in a phone booth packed. Yeah. That's how That's, packed it was, is, is we're, we're, we're looking at right wait, now. That, oh, okay. That's pretty packed. That's uh, pretty packed. How <laughs> packed do you think it is, Brian? <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm, not, I'm just, I can tell what you're setting me up for, and I'm not going to take the bait on right. anybody. What am I setting you up for? Sounds like there are very many of you in the cottage, is all I'm trying to say, what do you, sir. Wait, what? What are you getting at? Say I'm trying I, to lead you astray? I'm leading you down the primrose nope. path? That, uh, what are you thinking? Nope. I'm, I'm thinking I'm about two inches from chasing down a goat cart to <laughs> smell the goats, because I hear they can get you high. <laughs> I'm going to call that uh, uh, an look, episode entitled, Pinkman Attacks the Goats. <laughs> Okay, Pink screw you. Look, I'm doing this in solidarity because, number one, I'm a huge fan of, of Breaking Bad, so I've decided to do this episode in costume, metaphorical costume, as Jesse Pinkman. And ah. so that is why... That is why I look so pink in real life all the time. <laughs> I freaking hate it, man. I don't know what it is. Like, I keep, like, at some point, you stop blaming the webcam, and then you're just like, I apparently am just pink all the time. You're a pink man. It's a lobster, Brian. You're in Maine. Yeah, blame it on the lobster. And there's Breaking just lobsters bad. running all around. That's the problem with Maine, is it's a tiny state, but the lobsters just crawl like feral cats all over oh, the do, place. Do you, know, do you know, I ate a full-on steamed lobster for the first time while I was in Maine. Have you guys ever had, like, the full treatment of how to properly eat a full-on living bug with the legs and everything? No. No, Brian, we're not racist like you. <laughs> it's messed up. It's messed up, dude. It's like, and, and I got, it was like, um... There was some graphic sexual metaphor being made <laughs> for, for how to push my fingers and where in order to get what 
guts to fall out of what orifice oh. of, of this beast. Uh, <laughs> but, dude, it's, it's serious. I mean, it's like I, it is a ritual and experience. What, and what like kind of lobster point, place did you go to, Brian? <laughs> but, uh, the lobster place was a classy joint, but the guy with me is one of these characters from the anime convention. And, and I'm sure uh, Patrick DeLahanty is going to correct me in the chat room and let me know who it was. Patrick DeLahanty was there, by the way. He's the one who booked me at PortCon. But I remember the phrase being, when it got to the tail, to push the tail meat out, he was like, all right, listen, Brian. And he got real quiet. He was just like, listen, um, forgive my language, but here's what you're going to need to do. I need you to put your thumb on the back, break off the tail. I need you to put your thumb right in there. I need you to start digging in. And I need you to pretend it's prom night and just push it in to get the tail meat to pop out the other side. And... Uh, <laughs> And that is exactly. And Brian's like, all right. So I try to get my VCR working because the tape my friend got me. Exactly. So so I set up my Betamax to watch Empire Strikes Back, Back. and then what? Yeah. The popcorn's burning. Um, I was supposed. To, I was asked. One of our uh, our friends then, from uh, Rhode Island wants to know. Did you did you suck the green out, Brian? Uh, no, I did not. Uh, I was explained that that's pretty much uh, lobster poo. And when you're talking about a, a creature that eats other dead, decaying poo-like things, that's like poo squared. But uh, but what I did do is uh, like 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 you know. So I'm sitting there trying to recreate this prom night experience. And uh, and meanwhile, like at some point, everyone in the whole freaking table, and there's like 12 of them, stops, and they're all leaning in, leaning in, and it's. It's like having somebody midwife your first sexual experience, and yeah. then, you know, whispering in your ear what Not to do. Not on my prom night time. for you, right? No, you want to do it? it? Was, you want to do it? Just go uh, ahead. It was, just go for it. Come on, baby. Yeah, I know, I know. It's like, shh, shh, no, 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 softer. So, just kind of, you know, rub it around and then push in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I know you got it. Yeah, keep going. Keep yeah, going, bro. That's it. You got You're gonna it. Get it. You got it. You're going to get 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 it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's entirely... Too accurate, Justin, and I'm afraid I'm not comfortable you with this anymore. You mean a bunch anymore. of anime guys get around and start fingering lobsters, and, and you know, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be a wild Black time. Panda. Black Panda in the chat room just says he thinks he finally just caught prom fever two yes, months late. Exactly, and all he needed was one steamed main special. That's <laughs> for a second when you said steamed main special, I thought you meant something entirely different with Andrew Main. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, all right, I mean, if that's too graphic for you, uh, Brian, do you, do you have any other metaphors that you'd like to use for, no, for what you did no, last night? No, 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 or no, no. Is that no, accurate? No. no uh, let, let's say uh, you were although, explaining to your daughters uh, how to get how, how to get that out of how to get the lobster meat out of out of the uh, lobster. Here's what I would explain. I would how explain, would explain? Uh, sweetheart. Here's how you get uh, lobster meat out of lobster. Um, lobsters are filthy creatures, and you will go to hell if you touch them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And you should be ashamed of yourself for looking at him that way. Right. And why are you dressed like a whore? <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's excellent. I'll tell you, what. you should write a book, Brian. You should. How to raise filthy whores. Yes. <laughs> and, if, and if Penelope, Pinkman she like the has a lobster. <laughs> My daughter has a lobster. She's cracking it in half, and she, while she's eating it, like splash style, like like Daryl Hannah, she she just looks up and goes, "Jeez, half oh!" And then just keeps. <laughs> she just yeah, with like the, the the cracked shell, she's just spitting out all over the place. Yeah. She did like that that weird mermaid <laughs> cry. <laughs> 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 yes, exactly. Oh, by the way, did you guys get a chance to see the freaking uh, movies that everybody made for our advertisement with the commercial kings? Oh written? my God, is Johnny is John, is Nin John Tilton around? Uh, yeah, you know what? He's downstairs, but I mean, he's watching this, so he'll come running up here. We'll get him. He'll come bursting in. I'll get him on camera. But meanwhile, yeah, let me kick it faster. over to. I don't know if it's Jeremy <laughs> or Chad putting this stuff. Uh, I, I want to, right now, have us vote, because Rhett and Link, look, here's the thing. Yeah. Last night, the other night, they officially went Hollywood, right? Their freaking pilot yeah, dropped the IFC, and it's exploding the world. They're now super important. So what I want to do Did is, TV since guy they're not going to have time to yeah. pick the best commercial, too, yeah. I do want to vote for what the best commercial is from last week. Yeah. I mean, I have, I, to me, I have, there's one. Like, they were all great, but there's one. Okay. I'll be That's interested. I'll be interested if you and I have the same one. Is is what I think it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, by the way, Ninjon's right here. You want you want you want to talk to Ninjon? Yeah. Put him, put him on. All right, here we go. Ninjon, Ninjon the 
I missed what was up. I was just told to run upstairs, so I did. Hey, uh, Ninjon. Am I gonna go punch in the face? That's no. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no. Yes, you are. Yes, right. you are. Listen. Uh, great job. I loved uh, your your commercial. And if you saw how many times you uh, getting slapped in the face uh, made it into all the commercials, you know that your sacrifice was not in vain. You, uh, yes, yes, I, and I'm so glad that so many people enjoyed it. But yes. um, <laughs> it, it is funny how my favorite uh, of the commercials does not involve me getting that's, punched. That's in the face. great. Now drop the mic. And give it back to Brian. Leave. Yeah. By the way, Chad would have worn the right network shirt on the show. <laughs> yeah, say. Chad would have never worn a Revision <laughs> Three shirt on a yeah, Twitch show. Sorry. <laughs> no, look, he's just trying to promote the whole family. Here's the I know, thing. I know, okay, but, I know. No, okay, no, no, seriously, John, John killed it. Uh, and and yes. that, was, that was what put everything to the next level. Yeah, uh, well, I'll t okay, now here's the thing, though. It sounds to me like I'll bet you and I have different guesses on which is the best. Like, was, was your favorite John Tilton's video? Don't wait. Are you going to judge this, or are you going to... Yeah, no, we should play him. Okay, well, right, I don't right. mind. Yeah. I haven't seen these yet, by the way. Well, how about this? Uh, Brian, mine was John's. Okay, no, mine was uh, Jack Jack stuff. I, I'll recognize it if I see it. Okay, it's, they're then, all at let, let's get these live show dot info. If you click on uh, if BD you click Live on show. the Rhett and Link commercials, Commercial King commercials, mine was the one that was exactly ten seconds long, and uh, it it um, I don't want to ruin the bit. The reason that I love it so much, but this is so different, and 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 I think there we should have a place for. Maybe Andrew Main could be the final decider. Yeah, no, no, we, we'll each sponsor it, and then Andrew Main will give a, a, a reasoned answer to who is the ultimate victor. And by reasoned answer, I mean he'll be like, guys, are we done yet? I don't know. Really? Justin's wins. Are, are we finished? <laughs> Mine was the one that was um, NSFW commercial by Emma Jekrall. E-M-A-J-E-K-R-A-L. That one is way the best. Uh, I don't know, man. I think Ninjan's kind of killed it. He uh, no, he did very really well. Hard. He did very well. There's no doubt about that. But uh, no, I'm telling you, it's a. Uh, are we are we queuing him up? Are we about yeah, to? Take I, a look I'm going to intentionally go against whatever the chat room says because I see that works out really well for other guys. Uh, is the oh wait, wait. Why don't we do this? Hey, let's let the chat realm pick one that, that uh, a third entry because you you pick Ninjan's. All right, I well, well let, let's 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 have them. We'll have them in the chat room go while we try to play the ones that we picked, and we'll play that. All one. right, here we go. So let's take a look at uh, which one we got first here, Justin. No, that was that was Bill Meeks's. <laughs> That's just Brian's that Bill camera Meeks's froze. without any of the footage. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Brian's camera froze in the middle of the episode, so it's just his face. <laughs> All right, so so jump. Away. Let's do it. Let's do your pick, the the uh, Ninjans. Yeah. All right. It's, which is uh, which is old timey NSFW commercial by John Tilton is the yeah. one you're looking for there. Here we go. And for the audio latest listeners, it's all visuals. Best part about the punch is a punch happens off camera, yes. but he still had to get punched. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, well, and, and, and what's still, funny is that's his head snap back. <laughs> that is a legitimate like slap. Like like I full on got a call from the wife afterwards. You're like, how hard did you hit him? That's my like, she was right. <laughs> That's my favorite part about it is the fact that you actually slapped him, but it's off camera, so it didn't have to be, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes no, it. No, no, listen. You know a good slap. You can't fake a good slap off camera. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good. That's a I mean, We slap. don't even get to see it. That's the beauty. I know it's, it's so the, good. Uh, Stickless points out that not only did I slap him hard, I did it twice because that's the way we rolled on that episode. Chad would have let uh, you do then, it three okay, times. Okay, so here's my pick. It's <laughs> only ten seconds long. It's the one by Emma Jekroll, and it says NSFW commercial by Emma Jekroll. And this is all at bbliveshow.im. Can you click on that one there? Yeah. And by the way, if everybody wants to see this uh, that is listening on NSF the audio. Double <laughs> that's listening uh, listening on the audio version just go to bbliveshow.info slash ret underscore and underscore link <laughs> underscore commercials alright here we go NSF W breaking your face open with the, the awesome can you stop ruining it asshole the, the awesome <laughs> <laughs> that fapper's no, got a real no. mouth on him 
Maybe maybe I am biased just because um, this is the this is the commercial that makes fun of you and your and the the awesome. Yes. Like that becomes the tagline at the end. It goes the the awesome, and it's like I tell you, the moment I saw that, I want to cut out that three second chunk and put it on the vid blaster so that every time something great happens, I can press it and we can see the double diamonds over the sunrise going. Yes. Oh, the awesome. <laughs> that uh, uh, okay chat room. That is pretty amazing. Chat room has another voice here. Yeah, do we have a chat, a-, a chat consensus, a chatty consensus? Um, I rather like the very last one, which is a T two T two T production. Oh yeah, no, that- well, let's let's have that one be the third one, and then Andrew. Uh, now, obviously, you've been deliberating uh, while while you take this in silently, considering all the angles, the merits, the vectors, if you will. Uh, and, and he will he will issue a sound and reason judgment, not unlike the Supreme Court. Uh, after we view with my own dissenting opinion. Yes, yeah, he will confirm and dissent. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is T two T twos. NSF W ready to break your face open with the awesome. What do you say, little John? My papa says that I'll meet my mother in heaven. <laughs> 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 I, I can I can hear the slap. That wins. <laughs> all right, all right. Now you've seen all of them. Yeah. Now uh, we'll, we'll we'll try to milk this like a like a beauty pageant. Which one <laughs> of the three is eliminated first off? Um, the first one. All right. So my my pick, the old timey John Tilton uh, one, is now out of the running. So it is down to. Uh, the one where I say, and the, the, the awesome. <laughs> and uh, you know what? And hold on. And we are going to find out which of these is the winner after we thank our sponsors who make, who make NSFW show possible. That was, that was downright professional, Bri. Wow. Uh, wasn't was it me. It was the chat room suggested it, and I seized it and ran ahead. <laughs> That's exactly how we roll on this, this show. Taking we, credit we have for the your best, ideas. We have the best uh, fans in the business is that they're like, Take the commercial break. It'll be a better tease. <laughs> yes, exactly, right? <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, uh, nobody wants to sponsor this show. No, they no, they do. Somebody does. Nope, nobody does. Not the shadowy one. syndicate, Brian. Nope. Uh, well, look, uh, look. if you're talking about drug money, I don't have anything to do with it. We're well, not about drugs here. It's not about drug money. Well, Brian, we get paid uh, If you're coins. talking about prostitution, no. I don't want to. I'm, no, I'm, I'm not down with not. prostitution. It's not. I promise you. If you're talking about goat farming, I don't no. have nothing to do with those. They killed OMG Chad with the goat cart. Absolutely not. It's not about that. However, if let's say you owned a goat farm that was populated by drug dealing prostitutes, you could set up <laughs> your own site on Squarespace.com <laughs> to let everybody know about it. Folks, listen, we've talked about Squarespace so, so, so much on this show. And it's an amazing service that gives you so much functionality and really the kind of rock solid service that a goat farm where you sling hash <laughs> by a bunch of uh, animal sling focused hash, prostitutes. Hash. You're not talking about like you're not you're not running a flop house where it's like you're 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 handed out pancakes or something. You're saying no. you're like it's like that, but you go and they just shove a pipe full of marijuana in your mouth, and they're like, there you go. Listen, why it was back in 1961 when four prostitutes gathered together to collect their favorite things in the world to do: herding and raising goats. And dealing drugs. And that's and why <laughs> And that's why we host our site for the old hooker goat drug farm on <laughs> squarespace.com. <laughs> <laughs> the old hooker and goat drug farm <laughs> at squarespace or dot squarespace.com. Now here's the thing, why would you go with Squarespace? It seems like any old site can host hooker and what was the other one? Hookers, hookers, and, hookers who deal drugs and raise goats. <laughs> hooker and goat, the whole hooker and goat drug farm <laughs> dot, you know, anything else dot com. Why would you go in Squarespace, Justin? Well, listen, it's so gosh darn easy to make. I mean, listen, these hookers are out there dealing drugs and raising goats. They ain't got time to learn all the CSS. But good thing they have those pretty templates on Squarespace so their site doesn't look like a bunch of rubes put it together, okay? It looks okay. professional, okay? Secondarily, you're never going to go down. Like, obviously, if you're a bunch of hookers that deal drugs and raise goats, it's going to attract a lot of attention. What with your reddits and, and your digs, you can get all the traffic you want. It's never going to go down, okay? 
And that's uh, a now, okay. Now, now, uh, okay. So, so uh, when you say it's never going to go down, you're talking about like regardless of how much traffic. You're not saying as an as a premium service to the goat raising drug hookers. No, although everything's negotiable, <laughs> but not with Squarespace.com when it comes to you losing out, you losing time to your valuable readers, folks. Here's what I want you to do: go on over to Squarespace.com and sign up for a two week free trial. And we're not kidding ourselves, okay? We're not living in candy land, walking on gumdrop sidewalks, hitting each other with candy canes. No. We know that you've listened to these advertisements over and over again on some of your favorite shows. So we don't want, I mean, if you, if you don't have time, or you're not in the market to set up a website that you're going to use and pay into the, you know, have the premium oh, look, service. Look, just look. Super, these super hookers useful. that are running the, the goat farm and the druggery, the, uh, they, they got other things. They don't need to learn their HTMLs. No, and no, maybe no. one of them, but, but here, maybe one the of them, the Q1 with the librarian glasses, maybe she's a CSS wizard, and maybe she can use it to totally trick out and customize her Squarespace, but she's going to be busy doing other things that I can't even wrap my mind around. Sure, exactly. Uh, packing and smacking is how I like to call it. Um, <laughs> here's the deal. If, if if you're not you're not in the you know in the your business you're not going to set up a website on Squarespace immediately that's fine they love it when we go and make silly sites that we come up with on NSFW on Squarespace because for them it lets you it lets them know that you can play around with with all the functions you can see the tools you can you can you know tool around there so when you do have a site that you want to make you're going to know that Squarespace is the option for you so go on squarespace.com and then when you decide, and it is a when, not an if, that Squarespace is a place where you want to host a site that really means a lot to you in the same way that these hooker, goat farm, and drug dealers really love their site, you're going to use offer code NSFW6, and you're going to get 30% off the first couple months of your... Uh, three your, months. Three first months. three months, bro. That's long enough to get all the way through your first trimester to where all of a sudden... the are pregnant? Your, that's all I'm just saying. You're going to get pregnant with all the business you're going to drive to your hooker drug and go farm. <laughs> Squarespace.com. Uh, Andrew, before we go to our first song by uh, Jonathan Mann and the Song of Tron Band, we need for you to tell us which uh, real commercial quick, real quick. is the official commercial of we should, the NSFW we should. show. Hold, hold on, real quick. Before you do, Andrew, we, we got to do a disclaimer on that uh, the ad read we did. Obviously, we were satirical. We made light of subjects that are very serious. Let me make it very clear that drugs are bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian. Uh, I love that you had to get in there. You had to elbow in for the goat brain joke. It's just, I'm sorry. Well, Keep going. Like, uh, and go. <laughs> you're like, you're pulling, you're like on the train. You're the guy who pulls the emergency brake line. You're like, hey, everybody, goats go bad. That's sheep, even. It doesn't matter. You laughed at it. They all got it. The chat room's loving it. They're saying, bah, this man, which I think is some kind of compliment <laughs> to me. <laughs> Imagine we what? then walk through a temporal time warp where we didn't hear that joke, and we go back to Andrew Maine. Andrew, All right. with your careful reason, what I, here, is the commercial? Gentlemen, Justin, I'm going to write down on here, okay. make sure that I don't pull up when, like, you know, my credit card on an app. <laughs> I am going to write down my selection, but I think we should go to the chat room and have the chat room oh. choose theirs, then do the song, and then come back. All right. What? All right. It's up to you. It's up to you, gentlemen. Well, I mean, the, the chat room already has a horse in there, but, I mean, maybe uh, somebody who voted for another one. But maybe not they, a goat. They disagree. <laughs> yes, they don't have a goat. <laughs> or someone to farm it. Um, all right, well, we have a lot of numbers in here. I, I have no idea how we're going to keep, keep track of it. How about this? Somebody set up one of those Insta polls. Ch chat room is clearly saying... Number three, on balance, like as much as I would like, I mean, your choices are number two, which is the the awesome, or number three, which is T2T2's work. You guys are, are voting now. Uh, we're getting a number of people voting number 42, which uh, I think has something to do with a different property that we're not allowed to talk about. Um, we're not? Uh, people clearly think it's three. All right, listen, how about Wait, this? Uh, let's let somebody, somebody get a poll, a poll.cm thing going, uh, and, we'll, and we'll leave the polls open throughout the song but first all right let me introduce and uh you have no idea 
what a jackass I feel like that I said that uh, that Thomas was Nick because I'm an idiot and a moron. Uh, Changeable. Yeah, oh, really. stop it. No, you're not. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Mann, you've seen on this show uh, before, of course. His song a day is one of my favorite YouTube accounts ever in history. But in June, he's been doing something very, 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 very special. He has had a lot of his friends, including Thomas Hughes from the Spinto Band, with him. So uh, as a full band, they've done a lot of uh, really awesome songs. Uh, guys, uh, what are you doing first? We're doing a song called uh, Are You a Real Person? There we go. Inspired by no. tr true events, events that we, we've all sort of uh, we've all sort of had this experience. Now, 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 real quick, real quick, yeah. I do want to ask before you play the song. I think it is important to gauge how fresh this song is. I know that the the whole thing that you're doing is creating a lot of music in a very fast amount of time. How recently did you guys write this song, and what was it inspired by? Two minutes ago. Yes. <laughs> this song was actually from earlier in the month. Um, <laughs> earlier in the month. It's th this is how this sort of how song a day goes. You know, some some songs are better than others. This is one that we particularly like. Um, and this one was uh, the reason I, I kind of want to play this one is because it's inspired by something that um, happened while we were recording in the studio. Um, I was on my laptop looking at Facebook, as you know, I want to do occasionally, um, all the time. But <laughs> so um, and I get this I get this friend request from Martha Washington. Is, yes. is, the, is the name, Martha Washington. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and, and I look, you know, and it's like we have like 13 mutual friends, right? But I don't, <laughs> I don't recognize her. Been I'm like, well, maybe I could have gone to school with her and I don't know who she is. But, but, and then I look at her profile and it's like she's a porn producer. You know, ah. this, is her, this is her vocation. And so I'm sitting there and we have this hour-long discussion basically like trying to figure out whether or not she's real. You know, like is this, a real, is this spam? Is this... This is a real person that I actually knew, and so that's where this song comes out. All right, now, now, uh, and, and before you dive in, can I just say, like, I've gotten telemarketing calls <laughs> yeah. where, and I, and I mean this, I mean this sincerely, like, like I've gotten calls on the phone where it sounds like a real person, but what they're doing is they're people, like, instead of paying someone $8 an hour to actually talk to you in a telemarketing call, what they'll do is they'll pay someone, like, $5 an hour where they just have a soundboard with pre-written responses to everything. And, uh, and so you'll ask a question, and they'll just say, well, I understand. That's how you feel. And then they'll go plowing through the thing. And, like, I find myself getting in arguments with telemarketers where, like, are you, prove to me you're not a robot by right. saying the word blue. So my point is this is a valid concern. Yes, <laughs> and this, this song sort of addresses that um, very modern problem that we all have. Indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you rocking live for the first time ever in the Twit Cottage offices – Jonathan Mann and the Songatron Band, Are You a Real Person? Take it away, guys. One, two, three, four. Ones and zeros burned and broken. Do you or do you not exist? I will accept you with arms wide open. But if you're fake, I will feel foolish Your friends are my friends, but that's not conclusive I try to verify you, but you are elusive Little bits arranged in rows and rows and just so and Now I am obsessed and I simply must know oh, oh, Are you a real person? Oh, oh, are you a real person? Oh, oh are you a real person? Oh, oh, are you a real person? Flesh and bone is less deceiving. I don't need no Turing test. If I can touch you and feel you breathing, hear your heart beating in my chest. But I don't know what your motivation might be When you look my way and you decide to friend me Far be it from me to disrupt the status quo and Now I am obsessed and I simply must know oh, Are you a real person? Oh, 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 oh, 
If you real just say so If we knew each other long ago If you real baby let me know Well if you real then say hello You, Ladies guys. and gentlemen, Jonathan Mann and Thomas Hughes and Jonathan Mann and the Songatron band. Everybody go to songatron.com. They'll be back later in the episode to play another song. And actually, we're going to talk to them about a project that they're doing right now uh, with, with their Kickstarter. But I, before we go any further, I just want to let you know, folks, the Twit offices don't become a rock venue uh, without the hard work of Jammer B. Uh, so thank you very, very much for, uh, for, for retrofitting that. It is, it is so awesome that we've been able to, uh, to put them there and, and get a performance like that. All right. Brian? Dude, it was fantastic. Those guys were awesome, and I'm not going to lie. Like, and, and I'm sorry for, for, for delaying their performance even one second longer, but, like, the moment I heard, are you a real person, like, this is a real concern for me, and I don't know what list I'm on, but I've had three people who failed the Brian Turing test and were not able to say the word blue. It, like, when you ask, you're like, I right, prove you to me you're not a robot by saying the word blue. What? Yeah, I'm, just saying, like I'm just saying... I really enjoyed it. You're like you're like 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 the teenage girls who listen to like the cure and you're like it speaks to me. <laughs> it it's does. a song it's about so me. <laughs> this song totally does. And it's like and what's funny is they've got a pre recorded response where I'm like, prove to me you're not a robot by saying the word blue. And then and then they what they hit is Do you it, say this to it, Bonnie the in the middle of the night, just roll over. <laughs> say the word blue, Bonnie. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. <laughs> the chick, the chick, the chick voice just goes, ha, 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 oh, do I really sound that bad? And I was just like, ha, you don't ha, sound ha. bad, but you didn't say the word blue. Are you talking Proved about Bonnie? That's what Bonnie says. <laughs> 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 no, not I that imagine. chick. A, a paranoid, a paranoid shell-shocked Brian across from the <laughs> breakfast table while his kids are eating. And he just slowly looks up from his cereal. Say the word blue. <laughs> now! <laughs> I would love it. I would love it if, <laughs> if, what about, if like this became a big enough thing where they started to program in that response. You're like, you never know, dude. That brush when he gets everyone to say the word blue, and then it shuts them down. But what's funny is, uh, like, of the four times I've asked, three times it turns out it was somebody using a soundboard. <laughs> but that one time that it wasn't was really awkward. <laughs> That was like, at the breakfast table. I'm some... sure you really had to apologize to your mom. Do you do you ask like some... Road Bonnie, the inflatable doll you take with you about that? Do you say <laughs> somebody? I'm like, sorry, like, we're not supposed to talk was... about Road Bonnie. Sorry. No. sorry. Somebody <laughs> was sticking to the script so much that I was just like, prove to me you're not a robot by saying the word blue. And there's this awkward pause, and she goes, what? And I was like, prove to me you're not a robot by saying the word blue. And she goes, blue? And I was like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I get a lot of robots calling. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. Forget we mentioned Road Bonnie, by the way. Exactly. Just, just forget yes, that. Forget that. That's a secret still. Don't add that to his Wikipedia. Um, <laughs> by the way, I just want to point out right now, uh, hookergoatfarm.squarespace.com is up. <laughs> Back to the I'm reality. already there. <laughs> but uh, before we got into Brian's bizarre paranoid delusion, <laughs> um, we were deciding which was the best video. Uh, let's now go to the poll.cm results, which people have been voting all through the song. Uh, it looks like Chat Realm has spoken, and they say they're voting against their own pick and saying T2, T2, T's uh, ad, which was the, the third ad, is yeah, the winner. T actually, that was their pick. That was number three. That was their pick oh, was for number three. Yes, that was number three. That was, yeah, the other one was yeah, your no, pick. They, okay. they, they're big fans of, of T2, T2, and, and to be honest, even though it's not my number one favorite, it's very good, and certainly T2T2 T2 deserves it for all the other amazing things he's doing. Yeah, I will not actually, be sad he actually either was the of the backbone of this. But bit. to be honest, I want the winner to be the one that's uh, the the awesome, so I could just keep playing that soundbite all the time, yes. and I may just play it all the time, regardless. You might, you might, but of course, these are all just mere suggestions to our judge, Andrew Maine. Andrew, you have the people have spoken. Balance your own intellect. Deliver your summary judgment forthwith. Well, when you have to make a decision like this, you have to weigh in a lot of factors. You yeah. try to think about, okay, what is the longevity of this going to be? And that could be a valid question. How will I feel about this three years from now? But some people say it's how you feel about it in the moment. And when you have Justin 
floundering and doing a the, the, the. I mean, that's <laughs> I've added a the, by the way. That's a great moment. It's absolutely a great moment. And uh, I've got to tell you that uh, if it wasn't for Brian taking off the horse boy mask and ruining the moment, ah, horse boy should be his own personality. Horse boy, having you be, I, what are you trying to do? I exactly. Mean, well, I, 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 I believed he was real. And then it's first, a guy in a mask. Horse Boy is real. I was just wearing a mask because we needed – Horse Boy is very busy, and I wasn't able to book him for this commercial shoot. So I put on the mask to represent Horse Boy. So this, this is like, like if, if you took your, your daughters to the mall and they saw Santa Claus and they love Santa Claus, and then Santa Claus just took off all of his, his Santa Claus outfits and went to go get drunk in the middle of the mall and just started drinking and pouring liquor on his face and just shouting racial slurs. <laughs> and like, Amtrekker, haven't yes. you done enough? Yes. <laughs> so I, right. I, I, I'm Brian, watching your head get ripped open and seeing rainbows fly out and and – Everything and, and and the hair in the slap. I'm sorry, comedy. One, it's one thing this, but it's just the slap was so much. The foley on that was brilliant. And hearing that, hearing that, uh, it will make that, me giggle again hysterically. That, so that I wasn't went for three. I don't know if that you can wasn't see that, but foley. Those are a bunch that of was threes. that was no lie, legitimately what I. That was the sound. Is it foley when it's actually the sound of what's happening? Like foley, isn't it? You making it up after the spot and add it and post. There's three. The, they're just they're threes on there. There's threes. All right, I there see him. Go. Those there are a lot of threes. He's very excited. All right, so let's watch it one more time. Let's take a look at it. We'll verify it. We'll coronate it. There it is. The new ad for NSFW <laughs> w w show. And then Tilt would have had it up first. Ready to break <laughs> your face open with the awesome. What do you say, little John? My papa says that I'll meet my mother in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> that was also the the, the thing that uh, T two D two did brilliant on that was that that was actually the other take of him saying the meet my mom, mother in heaven because in the yes. real take where he slapped him he just said my pappy said I'll meet my <laughs> uh, so he actually that was great that was fantastic T two D two is the winner of this lame ass podcast game uh, real quick I want to get uh, John and Thomas uh, back up back up to the mic here because. They are uh, working now. We can go back to them with, with the camera. John, now you did a, a Kickstarter for the, the, the June project, which will eventually culminate in an album, right? Hold uh, on, hold on. We're not able. We're, yeah, we're we're not getting audio, so we'll. Uh, Here we are. Hopefully, hello. All right. There we're you good go. now. Can we get a reenactment in the meantime of you hitting Tilton? <laughs> oh, Brian, yes. Can you slap uh, John real quick? At various moments. Unfortunately, he's there, not waiting. in the room. You know me. I'm always down to hit anybody in my employ. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> he's just not here. And somehow, since he's watching downstairs, I don't think he's going to burst in and say, slap me, boss. Ch Chad would be there. Yeah. All right. So, uh, John, you, you, uh, you guys did a Kickstarter. And part of it, part of the incentives, like like you do, that's like the fun part of Kickstarter is that if you give X, you get Y. You and, get and rewards. You, you get, get rewards. You get gifts yes. for, for, for contributing, yeah. They're like badges, but they mean something. Right, right. Um, what, what, one of them was uh, outgoing phone messages, yeah, right? Yeah, at the $50, so you, you, you know, you, uh, you donate $50 to the cause, and then um, you get a, an, a, a, a sung outgoing message a personalized outgoing message written by by myself and my my sort of compatriots and and the songatron band and songatron band yeah that's uh, right now have you done any of them yet we did all of them we took a day and we we wrote 31 outgoing <laughs> messages the longest was 30 seconds the shortest was five um, and we sent them all out to people. People seem to really like that. Could you could you give us one of them just so you can so everybody do, knows what we're talking do the, about? Do the what was that one that you were doing? Keith, 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 fabulous Keith. How's it go? Oh yeah, we also asked them for information about themselves. Sure. So that we could mention in the song. Yeah. So so you know, Kickstarter has a survey that I can send out, and I just said, hey, what's like one little fact about yourself that you'd like to be in? And Keith, I think was. I am fabulous. I'm fabulous. That was his. There we go. That was a, a fabulous man deserving of a fabulous outgoing message. Exactly. In, in so it goes York to like, <laughs> yes. this is what you get when you say you're fabulous. Fabulous. Keep. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> keep. Keep. Fabulous. Keep. Leave him a message after the beep. 
There we go. Keith. See? Yeah. Now that that is what we like to call an outgoing message. <laughs> uh now, John, when I was I was talking to Jonathan over email yesterday and we were organizing everything, he mentions this to me and he says, by the way, if you and Brian could have an outgoing message, uh, what would you want on it? So, Brian, I asked oh, you all up. the way in Maine. Um, Are you serious? Yes, I'm, I'm serious. What, what would you like in, in a message? I would like, um, uh, I mean, you, you blindsided me with this. You go first. You've had time to think about this business. No, because see, the funny part is that you're struggling. See, this is part I know, of the bit. I know. That's a, yeah. What will be funny is that what you say, Brian, is stupid. And then what I'll say is awesome because I've been thinking about it for the last hour. So screw you. You go first. Uh, well, all right. If I were to have an outgoing message for you, uh, I would I would no, say no. I would say right, that it would be you uh, like my outgoing message. Fun fun things about Brian. Um, he uh, he has hair that many would consider offensive. Um, his uh, his skin is not unlike that of Piglet of Winnie the Pooh fame. <laughs> oh, go on. Um, is there anything else, Brian? Did we pretty much encapsulate everything about your life? Uh, yeah, I host a double award-winning podcast on the internet. I was on the Tonight Show twice. It's very I, insecure. I... <laughs> yes, but mostly the hair and the pink thing. Uh, all right, but, but all right, uh, Andrew, would you like to add anything into a, uh, a Brian outgoing message? Just so we can, we're, we're just throwing stuff into this too. By the way, if you just throw the camera right now, this is how they work. They're just they're they're rocking and rolling right now. The sauce is being made. Uh, I think we're ready. Oh, they ready? already oh, did. Oh, Crap. Right. Uh, all right. So, so there we go. But Andrew, just as, as, as a grace note, maybe, uh, what, what would you add? Do anything for attention. Anything for attention. Um, so, so here we go. And, and this is, so you guys are, you guys are ready. You guys can, I think so. you guys can We're rock. And this is, by the way, as we'll, as we'll ever be. a rough draft, you know, of, of an outgoing message for Brian Brushwood. Uh, here we go. Jonathan Mann and, and Thomas Hughes. Go ahead. He's got pink skin and pointy hair. Leave him a message if you dare. He'll do anything for attention. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Brushwood. <laughs> I freaking swear that I'm going to make that my voicemail. And I will give you guys, I'll put it on the toll free 800 number, and everybody can call to leave me a message at that. We'll play some of the messages next week. That'll be my new toll free message that I'm going to put. Brian, you know, it's, it's Justin's turn now. <laughs> Oh wait, do I get to do, wait? Do, yes. Do, hold on. I see I see what you're doing, Mr. Bain. <laughs> Brian, remember, this 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 friendship's a tripod. Okay? Yes, it's a yes. tripod, okay? Thank you. And I, now you I, and I, I are leaning on there and we've got now. him dangling, dangling <laughs> off the bar floor, okay? And we're oh, gonna squish right, him so, right so, down on some like peanut shells. Why don't you, uh, um, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll kick it off, you and I'll spitball or or the words of Justin, we'll snowball this back and forth. Sure, yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> The, uh, uh, <clears throat> he's a hairy he's, mammal. Uh, uh, he's he's got an ambiguous <laughs> race. Yes. <laughs> yes. Questionable uh, hairy mammal. And is offensive to all. <laughs> yes. He, he's Gonzo of the Muppets. <laughs> yes. We don't know what he is. Unidentifiable. Uh, oh, he sounds like Charlie Day from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. And he believes that Growing a beard bestows sports teams with superpowers. That's true. We think we'd find him in the Natural History Museum and somewhere between <laughs> uh, something with a tail. And, and bonus, if you could throw the word gumshoe in there yes. somewhere, that they would love, be delightful. They, they would love, love, they love the gumshoe. He's, he's got a, a voice befitting a, the smell of diesel in a truck stop. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, I, 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 Give us a second here. All right. That's a lot. That's it's a, a lot. It's a lot to, a lot to lot process. To digest. All right. So what do we? Wait, 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 wait. So we got ambiguous race. Yeah. Smells like a truck stop. Uh. Yep. Sure. Is that basically what we're what we're going for? Yeah. Yeah. We can do that. Yes. And, 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 if, and, you, and if you can offensive. anyway work highly, in the word gumshoe. Apparently. Highly offensive. Oh, offensive and wall. Functionally yeah. idiotic. If you can throw that in there idiotic. somewhere. <laughs> um. Sorry. As 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 they're working. Which, by the way, listen. I don't know if you folks realize that are listening or watching to this right now what kind of pressure we're putting these guys under. But 
I almost feel like you know this is this is what well, they've they've trained. I mean, you know, he's, yeah. he's written a song. I'll, I'll a day. tell you what. I mean, I mean, look, look. They've trained for the last two years for this. This is their epic Rocky moment. But but we should point out that that we have not pre-written who the guests are going to be for the remainder of the summer music series. And sometimes uh, we get caught in the last minute, and we have to get guests like Old John Smoke, who, who let's face it, not only. Not only was his music very not unprofessional. what we thought it would be, he, he didn't handle it. Very unprofessional. Yeah. He very much threw a fit. Um, and, uh, in fact, if you go back and watch it, uh, underneath that hat and his coat, he's definitely wearing a swimsuit underneath. You can see it. That's Stand actually true. Uh, 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 but, but here's the thing. You guys need to tell us who to have on the summer music series and feel free to reach out on them for them uh, on our behalf and uh, hit us up at Schwood and at Justin R. Young on Twitter. We, uh, this is your show, America. And so we're here to, to make stuff happen. To you. <laughs> and all ships at sea. And world, uh, yeah. And, and, and no, na no, na it's only a the world. Americans. Nobody at sea. Chat realm has no borders. Um, so yeah, and by the way, we do still have those Tijuana Jackson t-shirts. Uh, the Science of Triumph, and we are still offering, if you book a guest on the NSFW show, you get a Tijuana Jackson t-shirt. Uh-oh, I heard the dulcet sounds of a piano, which means it's got to be time for a uh, message. No, 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 they're, they're, they're cranking, they're cranking. We oh, gotta, yeah. Can I just say that when the shot cuts to them, they look like a Showtime series or something like that? I mean, they have the real... Yeah, they have a look. They have a look. They have like this hipster music kind of look, and then it cuts That's, back to it, us. I've never had that kind of thing where it's like you see somebody, maybe it's a, a local artist that you've seen a few times before, but then you just see the right photo of them, and then all of a sudden you realize they're way bigger than you, and they're about to get crazy famous, and this is your last chance to even touch one of the tail feathers as they fly away. Like, I mean, that's <laughs> how I feel right now. As this beautiful gilded phoenix guy. flies from your grasp and across the horizon. That's exactly what I'm saying. I mean, that's no exaggeration. I like that we got my hand in like Justin's face there. Wait. Uh, <laughs> I think we're ready. Are we ready to right, rock and so roll, ladies and gentlemen? A lot of information. On the spot. Listen, it, it takes takes a lot to process so much information <laughs> that you guys gave about me. Uh, folks, my new outgoing message to everybody who would dare to call me, John of the Man of the Sangha Trong Band, take it away. One, two. You've reached just in the man of no race Hair growing out every side of his face He smells like a truck and stop And he's offensive to all Leave him a message And he'll you return your call Yes! yes! I think you let him off so easy So much but, better! You know. I'm sorry, I lied. It turns out yours is the message I'm going to put on my toll-free number. Because you got it. That's way better oh, than mine. Oh, come on. You just said that, I mean, yours just says that you have pink skin, which is, by the way, true. Like, they say they smell like a <laughs> truck stop. <laughs> what does a truck stop smell like? Used condoms uh, and broken dreams. Hooker, That's what. A drug-dealing hooker goat farm. <laughs> Uh, can all I right, a, well, can I'll I tell do you a quick plug. Yes, for, no, no, let, let's. I, we we're just going back to you. So I, I've decided that I'm gonna uh, offer these to the general public. Hell yeah! For, it's 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 cheap. It's fifty dollars, and you get either a ringtone or an outgoing message. Your oh, so worth it. At so songtron.com/slash/phone. There, there we go. And 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 uh, fill out a little form. Your name, what you want it to say. You pay me through PayPal. You'll get one like that. Bada awesome. bing, bada boom. And and by the way, just just so I'm I'm so glad that we could do this on on air, so people can see, you know, the the process the here. Process, now is this yeah. is this gonna go, like while while everybody else is in town during June? Is then gonna stop after that, or you're gonna go forever? Is this with, like an with act the, now? With kind the messages, of thing? you mean? Yeah, the outgoing messages. Oh yeah, no, that's 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 yeah, that's forever. I'll I'll be doing those for people. Awesome. That's the plan. Awesome, but yeah. you shouldn't say Dude, that. that. You should awesome. say that they need to act within the no, next okay. week. All right, well, I'm, yeah, I'm a terrible salesman. <laughs> you do it. You should sell it for me. You know? Folks, listen, uh, John doesn't want to mention this, but he has... Uh, hey, Steve the, Jobs signed yes. off on this guy. Exactly. Yeah. Steve Jobs is a fan of, of his music. You should be, too. Uh, and, and I'm sure Steve is going to be throwing 50 bones your way. Oh, so man. He can, uh, that would be easy. Exactly. You're gonna hear it in in, a, in an iPhone keynote. You're just gonna hear a Jonathan Mann ringtone awkwardly going off in the middle of it. <laughs> uh, but here, let's let me let me talk to you guys real quick. How has this this month been? Because the last time you were on the show, you were just about to start with it. Yeah. 
So the idea of this month was like that I'm writing, I've been writing a song a day for almost a thousand days. I just passed nine hundred, the day 900 recently. And um, the idea of this month was to bring a bunch of my friends together and sort of write song a day collaboratively. So I brought Thomas and Nick from the Spinto Band in and just had various friends come in. And um, it's been really great. It's been, it's been kind of wonderful, actually. Like, you know, my skills, you know, if there's like a tiered thing of where my skills are it's like I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm best at writing songs but then like as a recording engineer and a videographer there's like you know way down here or something so yeah. I've had other people to come in and sort of take over those roles for me you know and uh, it's really made a big difference I think in the quality uh, of, uh, of the, uh, both of the sound of the songs and also in the production with these guys helping everything it's been huge you know, and, and uh, I think it was Rabbit Badger in the chat room said, uh, you know, to, to describe you guys just, just watching you right now is that it's, a, you know, a, a Jonathan Colton, they might be giants kind of vibe. Uh, and, uh, you know, he meant that as, as very high praise as, well, as definitely I do huge it. You know, they might be giants is definitely one of both of our biggest influences. In fact, while we were doing the outgoing messages, we kept coming back to fingertips. Um, yes! You know, they might be giants is thing on Apollo 18, like... These, these, I don't know how many are there. Yeah, what is it? It's like it's like twenty or thirty 20 of or, them, and, and yeah. you know they're even shorter. I mean, they're like I think the longest one of theirs is like fifteen seconds. They're like some of them are like two seconds long, but they're just these little songs that go into one another, and that was a huge. You know, we kept saying, oh, we got to make it like fingertips. So, dude, and and you guys are so totally succeeding. Uh, like, where can people go to see all the stuff that you have done in June, and more specifically? Uh, they are the the fans are deciding which songs go on the album that yeah, they can right. buy. So, right. So the 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 album is made up of uh, you know there's 30 songs that we've done in June and the album is going to be comprised of the best ones as chosen and voted on you know by by whoever you know happens to come across them and also people who've been watching us you know for the last month. Yeah. Um, and so that's pretty exciting. Um, the place the best place to go you can go to songatron.com. Um, and watch us live. We, we, we sort of live stream every day as we're working so you can see the songs come together. And our last day is Thursday. If you want to see the, um, all the videos, you go to my YouTube channel. Just, yeah. just youtube.com slash The Rock Cookie Bottom. Absolutely. Should have had you put that up there too, I guess, but whatever. And uh, <laughs> the other one is, uh, you know, my, I have a SoundCloud where you can just hear just the songs. And that's soundcloud.com slash Jonathan Man. Listen, uh, folks, if you have dug anything that you've heard over the last uh, hour between the ringtones and, and outgoing messages and, and the song and what you're going to hear at the end of this episode, um, you really go, need to go listen to these, uh, these songs. These are album quality songs that are being made every single day. I cannot speak highly enough about about this project I, God, I cannot speak highly of them for yes, unfortunately, no matter everyone, afraid... all you said i'm sorry sir i have to reject you and i cannot speak highly uh good day sir no seriously these guys are so uh, I, awesome i know that we have a little bit more coming up but we should take a moment to thank some of the other folks that make nsfw possible and i'm talking about your mom yes and my she, mom, uh, who gave birth to us. Thanks, mom. They copulated, we and uh, we came out of them. Or hatched. So uh, thanks, mom, for buying some Twit ad space. <laughs> <laughs> For, no, they, they provided the raw materials for uh, NSFW. That's Absolutely. what we're excited about. And so it'd be like it'd be like 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 PBS. Like it'd be like this episode brought instead of like viewers like you, it'd be like our mothers for having sex. Unprotected with, with men. Unprotected sex. With Thank you men. for having unprotected sex and giving rise to my life, Mom. <laughs> um, but also Netflix, Brian. <laughs> oh, man, no. I guess you're right. I didn't even think about that. I guess they're the ones paying money. I mean, I'm sorry. I was focused on our mothers giving us life. Sure. Like getting freaky after but some you wine know one what? night. Life is an empty husk of depressing nothingness if it's not for Netflix.com. <laughs> Well, okay, so yeah, mom and dad, mom gave us the life. Netflix gave us the reason for life. Yes. We were born for Netflix is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if it were not for Netflix, I would have killed myself long ago. Long ago would, would the mother who gave me birth have found me swinging from the rafters, if not for the sweet angel Netflix whispering unto my ear. 
<laughs> Netflix once took a dying man and gave him a reason to live, and later he showed up in one of those charming articles in like Good Housekeeping, and it was Netflix that was the reason that gave him a reason to return to life. Listen, uh, in, in, and this is actually true, in the original script for It's a Wonderful Life, uh, the angel is named Netflix, and he's stopping really? him from jumping off the bridge, uh, and then shows him not only, and this was the original, so it's not, it's not what made it to screen, but originally he showed him not only uh, all these things that would happen if he didn't exist, but also um, that he could have a online streaming only account for eight dollars that includes such awesome movies like the entire miramax catalog including pulp fiction jackie brown and kevin smith's uh, great works see that's odd that, that you had mentioned that because the way i heard it was that the original ending of raiders of the lost ark they <laughs> open the ark and they don't even have to worry about the ghost coming around and melting faces because Indy and that other chick are busy watching instant live streaming on their Xbox, their 360, their Nintendo Wii, iPhone, on their iPad, iPad, on their phone. Yeah, I mean, they were, they were too busy sucked into all of the fantastic movies that are available. They were watching documentaries like the movie Man on Wire, the artistic heist of the century where a guy actually walked across from one of the World Trade Center towers to the other while they were under construction. Absolutely. Absolutely, Brian. And uh, I'll tell you what, as, as a personal, uh, I feel like this is, this is like uh, therapy. If we weren't for Netflix... I don't know if I'd be here today, guys. <laughs> oh, man, I was so excited to hear what other movie you're going to talk about. I, I have a Netflix page. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, Brian, <laughs> that I couldn't, think of a, I couldn't think of a joke. Uh, Andrew, what's uh, one of the great movies that you can watch on Netflix? Movie? But, you know, TV Justin shows. and Brian, it's so much more than just movies. Well, gosh darn it, Andrew, yeah. tell me. Well, gentlemen, I, uh, <laughs> I've had some... Uh, had some uh, Free time where I needed to watch something. Yep. While I need to entertain myself, while I was uh, working on some activities, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I'm flipping through Netflix, clickety, 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 click. Mm -hmm. And what do I see? And like I'm thinking, like I've seen a lot of the movies there. I see something I liked before when it was on. You know, they plugged the cable into back of your TV. I didn't get enough chance to watch it, but now it's there. The entire series, Eureka. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Fun little wow. sci-fi comedy yeah. show. It's up there on Netflix. All the episodes. Just waiting. No commercials. I no, watch. No. I play. I watch the next one. Watch the delightful antics of the sheriff in the town. Yeah. All there. Dude, it's sick. Uh, so many TV shows. So many movies. Folks, if you don't have Netflix, which I know a lot of you do, and that's that's the thing, is do me a favor. If you already own Netflix, go watch a Netflix movie tonight. Do us a favor for NSFW, anyone you want, make it a Netflix night. For a relaxing time, make it Netflix time. Uh, and, and if you don't have it, folks, Netflix.com slash twid, you're going to get a free 30-day trial. So, uh, you know, on, for freezies, go, go hog wild, folks. Watch every Netflix movie in the world. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, and so and so, look. Uh, I know that we're running short on time here. Uh, how are we doing, man? Uh, we are we're a little over an hour. So uh, let's let's get into the, uh, the the plugs real quick. Uh, Brian, what do you what do you got to talk to us about? Uh, you know what? You should follow me wherever I go, like a shadow <laughs> ninja in the night. So I can walk into a business meeting and they'll say, "Why are there thirty thousand people standing behind you?" I'm like, "I don't know what you're talking about." And behind me, they will clearly see. 30,000 people dressed in black pajamas, and they will be ninjas in the night. And I'm like, I don't see anyone here. And it was like, I'm sorry, are you about to disagree with me? Because these 30,000 ninjas who aren't definitely following me might kill you if you suggest otherwise. So why don't you join that army by following me at uh, twitter.com slash schwood, or that's S-H-W-O-O-D, or just now on the Facebook, fb.com slash schwood. There we go. It's just that simple. Andrew, a uh, lot of a lot of a lot of big big things going down with the uh, with with the writing. You you're already, you're in the top 100 for science uh, fiction books in Amazon with with three books, right? Three books. Yeah, and one broke over to mystery and thrillers too. Well, yeah. Yeah, and one. By the way, hey, listen. Let me let me give you guys some real talk, folks. <laughs> mystery and thrillers is no. Is is no small feat. Okay, this is where all your you're the girl who kicked. The Hornets, what's it's? Your, the girl your, uh, who hurt the feelings English, of that other guy. 
the girl who wouldn't date me at prom. Yes, the girl because you kept who, talking about lobster and creeping yes, her out. Yes, yes. The, yes. The, gir the girl who walked yeah, away because you kept asking her to say blue. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. No, all those, all those fantastic novels. All your, your, your the, the Da Vinci picture. Uh, all those books are in the mystery thriller category. But uh, with their now, big words. <laughs> yeah, what with all the words and the action and the fedora wearing and the craziness. But but Public Enemy Zero, right? That was uh, the mystery and thriller. Yeah, it was high tech sci fi and mystery thriller. And actually, to our surprise, it actually broke into the top 100 mystery thrillers on Amazon. Dude, so, that, is, that is an surprise, amazing. Surprise, surprised. An amazing accomplishment. Folks, that's your full length novel. Yeah. That's uh, people love it. You know, it's one of the best reviewed uh, books in its in its category. Until somebody listening here is like, ah, yeah. <laughs> please. Uh, please don't do that seriously. <laughs> uh, it's my Taco Bell money. So there we go. Uh, please download the three books that are available right now: are Grendel's Shadow, Public Enemy Zero, and Chronological Man. Yeah, if you go to andermainbooks.com, you can see them. They're like right on the the Chiron there. And uh, if you get a chance, okay, uh, we have a free audio podcast of. Yeah. Grindle Shadow, mm -hmm. okay, which you can subscribe to on iTunes if you want. It's free and it's serialized, or you can get the audiobook narrated and a, an amazing job by Mr. Justin Robert Young. When he told me, he said, Hey, I want to do the audiobook. And I'm like, Listen, I'm waiting for Ian McKellen to get back to me. Yes. We have a call out. Yeah, okay. I'm like, you know what? All right, go ahead. I'll let you try it. You need a fantastic. I'm listening to this going, this sounds good. And not that I'm, I'm always <laughs> people like picks up my own books. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, you know, gosh, I, I, if I, you know, but I'm listening to him. Going, I'm like, this is, this is great. He did a, he did a great job of that. So it's available as a podcast. It's also available as just a, a download. You can just, you know, buy the audiobook. And coming this week, coming very, very soon. Yeah. Public Enemy Zero is going to be an audiobook too. Yeah, so. listen, uh, Grendel Shadow is like three and a half hours, three three hours, forty minutes, something like that. Public Enemy Zero is a full eight and a half hours. It is longer by an hour than the Maltese Falcon, which I listened to this week on Audible. Let's so. not make comparisons there, though. I'm just that, saying. No, it's what an I'm hour saying, longer, and it's made an Public hour Enemy better. Zero <laughs> is better Let it be than said unequivocally <laughs> that right here on the show. This show is an hour longer. I'm sorry, your your audiobook is yeah. an hour longer and an hour better, yes. which by proxy makes uh, uh, Public Enemy Zero seven hours longer and seven hours better than Maltese Falcon. Absolutely. Really? That's what I'm saying. And if, and if uh, Dash and all Hammond's ghost has anything to say about it, we'll dig up his corpse and spit on him. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we are going to do a podcast version of, of Public Enemy Public Zero, Zero Two, which yeah. we'll serialize that. If you just want to, if you want to wait for that, it's cool. The books are ninety nine cents. Books are ninety nine cents on Amazon. It's a model. It's it's trying to see if we can uh, keep this going. It's, they've been doing very very well at that price, and I like that. Yeah. So go check it out. Uh, buy them on on Amazon. If you buy the entire Andrew Main Library, it's three dollars. And if you tack on the audio book, it's going to be six. So uh, no. Okay. Now I, look, we've talked about this before, right? Is there some part of you have you no shame? Why can you? Did you hear the sentence that Justin just spoke? Buy the entire Andrew Main Library for three bucks. Yeah, you're charging too little for this stuff. Brian, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I, I, well, I, I mean, Brian, I, I, it's the beautiful thing about digital, though, is the books are selling really well. I'm very, very happy about that. And I love the idea that if you like it, you can, you know, you buy 99 cents, you get it. And, you know, I, I don't make a lot, but they sell really well. And I think it's it's why I see people who price things digitally unreasonably high. Consider it's not like I, I'm sitting there with Justin and I running a Gutenberg press and throwing paper down, <laughs> and lathering up with ink and all that. And we got to make the orders, kid. Come on. Right. It's, we don't have to do that. And. So, you know, we can, you know, volume, just, just buy them all and just, 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 if you like them, right. say nice things. If you don't, just shut up, shut up, shut, mouth, shut your shut, filthy shut mouth. Your mouth, shut. Um, so, uh, and also people are asking the audio versions are the Grendel Shadow one is 295. Yeah, 295. Yeah. This, uh, public interview here is going to be the same. All right. Look, talking about volume, let's turn up the volume on our musical guests True. Yes, and absolutely. play us out. With the dulcet tones of, of our fabulous latest music guest. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, just everybody follow Justin R. Young on Twitter as well and uh, go to visitweirdthings.com and a new Weird Things podcast is out. However, more importantly, folks, 
They've been such an important part of this episode, and I'm so excited to have them here. Jonathan Mann and the Songatron Band. Jonathan Mann and Thomas Hughes. Again, songatron.com or go visit youtube.com slash the rock cookie bottom. What are you guys performing? I'm really terrible at like the cross branding thing. I'm, I'm <laughs> awful at keeping one name. Uh, this is a song called Last Night I Dreamt I Was a Submarine. Here we go. Performing Last Night I Dreamt I Was a th Submarine for the summer music series, Jonathan Mann and the Song of Tron Band. Take it away. And it's a true story. Last night I dreamt I was a submarine. I dove right into my bed and I woke up my girlfriend. I sleep so heavily, she sleeps so light. It's a miracle when she sleeps through the night. Oh, oh. Kick, kick, punch, punch, now I take all the covers. Roll, roll, right out of bed, I'm an active sleeping lover. Just throw me right out of bed and get a good night's rest. If we were birds, I'd probably fall out of the nest and onto the ground. Unless I had wings, and then I would fly. I'd sleep in the sky, I'd sleep in the clouds, and land on the ground. And dream of being a submarine. Woo! Woo! Thanks, guys. That yes! about wraps it up for this episode of NSFW. Again, Jonathan Mann and Thomas Hughes, songatron.com. Uh, until next week, kids, see you next Tuesday. Yeah, guys, do me a favor. Why don't y'all die in a fire? Love you. The best one is one of us clapping at a time for ourselves. <laughs> We're great. Is it my turn yet? To us. This hair's real, by the way, folks. I don't know. I start any rumors here. That's Hugh Laurie here. Oh my God, it's Chad. Oh, jeez. Oh, why? Oh, 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 oh. All seriousness, I'm hoping you've, I, I, here's, here's the sad fact. We ran out of ideas a hundred episodes ago. <laughs> yes. We've been doing nothing but armpit farts for the last two months. <laughs> that's, that's right. The last 26 episodes have been like, have you seen the thing with the thumb where it looks like it's disconnecting on your hands? This thing? Well, we're going to show you a way to do it that'll make you never buy a drink again. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> See, this is a great show already. What, what hey, do we uh, need you structure for? <laughs> you can structure my, my butt. Dude, and you haven't seen it since they put in the sets. No, I, when I saw it, it was Bones, and I was like, I want to live. In fact, I had a dream last week that, that I lived inside the studio. Like, I'm full on. There was a dormitory in the back, and all these budding podcasters. With, it was me and Ayaz and, and a few other. Like, Tom Merritt was one of the crew bosses. He got yeah. to live off property, but the rest of us just lived a dorm in the back, and it was like the happiest experience of my life. So, Brian, oh, you been to the new set? Brian? Yeah, no, I, I, would, I was just saying when I saw it, it was all bones. And yeah, I did totally you, uh, loved it. We got to carve our name in the cement up towards the front entrance. Where did you put yours in? Shut up. Did you really? Yes, Brian. No. Yes, we did. Well, the cement was wet today. Yeah, it was wet today. So, I mean, I guess you'll well, not, you're not going to have a chance there. to do it ever. That's, that's weird. Wow. We should have put something for him. Sorry. Oh, yeah. No, we should have put something there. Mm -hmm. Instead, we put uh, a, a little thing to let everybody know that Chronological Man is available right now on <laughs> Amazon for only a dollar. <laughs> uh, J, J backslash K, kiddo. That didn't happen. It's a great. Uh, by the way, uh, professional podcasters, yeah, the great way to get your co host pumped. <laughs> is to lie to him so he gets disappointed. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and then go lie. Right, look, and go. Go, go. <laughs>